Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. Today we're going to talk about questions that have been very, very popular in the past 48 hours um, regarding the upgrade to Windows 10. So two questions I'm going to talk about today. The first one, what if you don't have a notification in your taskbar? What does it mean? And the second one, uh, activation key, because that's obviously a question that's very, very popular. So here it goes. First of all, a lot of people have been telling me, well, you know what, everybody's upgrading, but I never got the notification, the little flag, the Windows flag in the taskbar on the bottom right. What does it mean? Well, if you upgrade and update your computer all the time, if it has the latest updates and you don't have it, it's very simple. The reason they did not put the little Windows flag to upgrade to Windows 10 means that your computer is not compatible with the Windows 10 right now. So yes, you can force it. Yes, you can use my video with that little trick with the USB thumb drive and just force the install. It's still going to install. But the problem is you might be missing drivers. If you did not have that little notification and you got problems afterwards, it means that your uh, computer was not compatible with the Windows 10 update and that's why they did not show that little flag. Now the number of computers that are compatible is amazing but the main reason why you might not have the little flag is not because of the power of your computer or anything. It has most of the time um, the main reason is drivers. It means that Windows 10 does not have proper drivers to run your system and that's why the flag doesn't appear on a lot of computers it's simply bad it's not compatible with Windows 10 for now it doesn't mean it will never be because when the Microsoft is actually working with uh, you know the big manufacturers and trying to get the maximum number of drivers and uh, the maximum number of cooperation with them so some computers that are not actually compatible now you might have that little flag show up in the next days, weeks, even months. Uh, it seems that Microsoft says that some people that don't have the upgrade icon will get it in the coming months because they are checking for compatibility with that. As for the key, that's a question I get asked all the time. No, you cannot use an old key. Each version of Windows has its own set of keys and they're not compatible with any other version of Windows. So don't try to enter a Windows 7 key. It's never going to work. That's not how it works. When you upgrade from the base Windows 7 SP1 or Windows 8.1 uh, operating system that's already in your computer, you don't need a key. It never asks for a key and it will never need a key. And some people say, hey, I upgraded, but I need a key. Well, you upgraded either with the wrong operating system, meaning that you have a home, you try to upgrade to Pro, and now you're stuck, it has for a key. Um, maybe you have a pirated version of Windows. It will ask for a key on pirated versions. So, you know, these are occasions where that's gonna happen. As for a clean install, uh, what a lot of people have been reporting is that if you put the ISO image on a USB stick, clean install, it seems that it doesn't ask for a key. It, In most computers, it will actually just install because it knows that your computer is okay for an upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, they've done it really in a way that's the easiest possible way to do upgrades, basically. And um, so in most cases, because especially if you have a Windows 8 computer, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that in Windows, starting with Windows 8, the key to Windows is actually written in hardware on the motherboard of your computer. It can sense and see that key and it knows it's a Windows 8 key. So when you clean install, it spots that key and it says, oh, this is an upgrade, it's okay. 
So that's why a lot of people doing clean installs never had, and actually I had a lot of comments about this on the channel also, but people upgrading with clean installs never had to enter a key and it worked fine. And that's because it sees that you have a Windows, compatible Windows machine that upgrades for free. So uh, that's pretty much what we have in the latest news. So don't try to enter any other key. And if it asks for a key, that's because you did something wrong. You tried to upgrade to a version that's not compatible, home to Pro, for example, or you got a pirated version of Windows, or you just have done it wrong and need to redo it. Uh, you know, the best way to do it, upgrade from within your existing operating system. That's how you'll have the least problems. It already upgrades to the correct version by itself. But if you have to use that tool, make sure you choose the correct version for the one that you have uh, to upgrade or else it's going to ask you for a key. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to your channel, to my channel, and you will uh, be notified every time I post new videos, lots of videos coming up on how to use Windows 10. And uh, if you have comments, questions, anything, please do so. I'm here for that and I try to answer. But with the high volume of uh, users that I have in the, in the past week, it's very difficult to answer everybody, but I do my best. Thank you for watching.